It's This Week in Bourbon, and we've got a lawyer in the house. Here's your headlines for November 3rd, 2023. A new distillery is coming online that is now aging barrels in coal mines. Rabbit Hole is announcing the release of Seasoning. And Buffalo Trace has announced the release of Eagle Rare 25. But before we get started, here's a quick word from our partners. Always find what you love at Total Wine & More. With so many great bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single-barrel bourbon to try with some help from one of their friendly guides. And with every bottle comes the confidence of knowing you just found something amazing. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find only at Total Wine & More. Curbside pickup and delivery available in most areas. Visit TotalWine.com to learn more. Spirits not sold in Virginia and North Carolina. Drink responsibly and be 21. Play Whiskey Wednesday Round 11, The Memory Game. Until June 26, each week you can win one of our 12 incredible grand prizes. Select two doors at checkout. And if they match on drawing night, you'll win that bottle. Not a match? No worries. You still score a Weller 12-year. Every $5 ticket gives you five chances to win, including four weekly bonus prizes. Get your tickets now at give270.org. Charitable Gaming License ORG 0002703. From their bar to yours, Chad and Sarah of the popular YouTube channel It's Bourbon Night bring you their favorite at-home old-fashioned mix with the new Elemental Elixir's Golden Hour Syrup. It's a custom-made syrup with notes of bold black tea, warm spices, and orange zest. All you need is your favorite whiskey and ice. No bitters needed. One bottle makes 16 drinks, so that's only $1 cocktail before you add your own whiskey. They can also be enjoyed in other cocktails or spirits, mocktails, coffee, tea, and anything you can think of. It's crafted locally in Lexington, Kentucky. And you can get your bottle now at whiskeyambitions.com. Do you ever pour yourself a bourbon, swirl it around, and then start struggling to come up with tasting notes? And perhaps you're also looking for a good Father's Day gift idea. Well, you can now solve both with a kit from Nose Your Bourbon. And unlike other nosing kits on the market, Nose Your Bourbon kits feature real ingredients for the most authentic aromas. You can smell real Tahitian vanilla bean instead of some synthetic aroma that's just made from chemicals. So head on over to noseyourbourbon.com and enter code BP10 for 10% off your order. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's another fantastic episode of This Week in Bourbon. And we've got another special guest this week. Yeah, back-to-back -back weeks. Yeah. And another Brian. Another, another Brian. Brian. <laughs> another Brian. Welcome, Brian Hare of Sippin' Corn. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Glad to be two Brians in a row. Two, two All the Brians. Two Brians in a row. Two Brians in a row. We just got finished uh, picking three old, bil oh, not old, elk, old elk barrels, and uh, they were really good. Yes. Coming to Silbox for, with the Breaking Bourbon team and Blake with Silbox and... And our, us. our resident lawyer yeah. <laughs> here. I was like, he was walking through our space. I was like, just close your eyes. Nothing, you know, <laughs> nothing to see here. Yeah. No violations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's glad to have, uh, have you here. Uh, this is me the first time on This Week in Bourbon for you. And it's right. great to kind of hear your It's life changing. Thoughts. It really is. It's people have been waiting <laughs> to get on here. People are busting to, to make it happen. There's but... like 10 outside the door banging in. Come in. <laughs> I just walked right past them. <laughs> there is. Uh, there's a few things that I kind of want to bring up, though. So I, I uh, Halloween just happened, at least that this recording was last night. So That's right. now a few, days, a few days later. And so I have a, I have a question for you all. Oh, gosh. Me and my wife, we kind of got in a in a little bit of a. Well, it wasn't a heated argument. It was a tiff. It, it was a it was a it was a twenty second argument. A discussion, a spat. It really was. It, you had just mentioned how you were at a house and you had three bowls of candy out, and then within like ten minutes, they were all gone. Probably because yeah. somebody just. And the picked, time I had to go pee, I came out and somebody somebody had jacked three buckets of candy. Okay, not just the candy inside; they took the actual <laughs> the buckets. The buckets are gone. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's value in buckets, by the way. So we're one of those houses. My wife is. We've loved Halloween forever, and she is now the person that wants to give away full candy bars. Oh, oh we went to a few of those. The kids love them. Yes, so we're Popular. we're we're the full candy bar house. Now, here's what she doesn't do. She puts full candy bars in a bucket. No. And leaves them out. No. And uh, this is, I, here's the thing. We don't get a whole, we actually have a neighborhood with a ton of trick-or-treaters, but we live on this sort of side street 
where well, it's the main road. It's the main big. road, so we don't get as much. And of it's a little trees. hill. Kids are lazy. They want to walk up it. Exactly. If they so, only knew full size were there. Well, it happened. It happened. This is what happens is that at about 830, a group of probably 10 teenagers came by and cleared out the entire bucket. Did you catch them on the ring camera? Uh, no, we, we were walking back the other way and we were kind of like, that's probably what happened. So I was looking at it and I was like, we are never doing this ever again. I'm not letting you put out full candy bars just to let 10 teenagers take every single one of them. I mean, there had to have been at least 40 of them. But you're perfectly fine with them taking the, the bite-sized bars? <laughs> probably. <laughs> well, because it's a lot less. I mean, to, to be fair, I mean, it's what? At, I'm at Costco, so we're looking at 20, 30 bucks for, a, uh, you know, a 36. Nah, it's probably 20 bucks for a 30 to 36 pack. Right. So we're spending 40 bucks on candy to uh, let. And we probably put a, you know, a little bit, probably three quarters of it out to let 10 kids take all of it. Like it. And morally, I look at that and I'm like, I don't think that's very fair. I said, well, if what's you, the big bag of candy costs? Uh, probably Costco, 10 bucks. Oh, easily, okay. easily half that. And you could get two bags. You can get four bags of those. You could feed an entire neighborhood. You do a full, you do a full handful of those, and yeah, kids I guess, are happy. I guess if you're going to hand them out full candy bars, is the way to go. But if you're going to set them out, do the minis. That's and that's what exactly what maybe I it's said. enough deterrent. And, and this, they'll be like they'll look like, eh, I don't want them minis. But no, they're going to take the whole thing. No, nope, <laughs> they'll. That's when they just dump the bowl. Yeah, in, that's in the, true. That's when they're going to take it. So I, I had this this sort of thing. I was like, we were, I am never doing this again where I'm going to let you just put out full size candy bars to let a few kids take them. And she goes, but it makes me happy. And I'm like, <sighs> and, that's when life, I, happy life. and that's when I talked to somebody else and they're like, listen, like I've been married for 30 years. Like just let her have it. It's 40 bucks. You don't have to think about it. Yeah. It, or it's much more expensive. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the phrase I'm not going to let you is <laughs> troublesome to my ears <laughs> as, as the old man in the room can't say that yeah. yeah i know i know but it was just one of those things i had this this dilemma of like why are we giving just a select few the best halloween candy that they can get just because they have and it'll be maybe it's like you reward them because because they went up the hill they actually went up the hill they went up the hill and it's 8 30 they're the last ones there what are you gonna do eat it all they just saved you from I mean, eating snickers i i'm they're kind doing of, it for you kenny i'm kind of like a was it 100 grand or thousand, oh, the hun- thousand, yeah, the hundred grand bar. Hundred grand. I'm actually a huge fan of hundred grand bar, so I I will. They're okay. I will take those all you day. Had full size hundred grands. Full size hundred grand. Dang. The only ones that I was more than happy to get away was the baby roots. Not yeah. a big baby. Yeah, baby yeah, roots kind of. Yeah. Yeah. If it was Twix or like Butterfinger or full packs of Reese's, man, oh. I'm all in. We had all that. Oh. All of it, my friend. Almond Joys, too. I like Almond Joys. We didn't have any Almond Joys. Ryan's going trick-or-treating at your house next year. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. Yeah, I was going like, to say. I, I was they like... got full candy bars here, kids. Let's go <laughs> take them all. Dump them all. <laughs> One stop, we're done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One for daddy. <laughs> In and out. All right. Uh, so we've got a few other announcements and, and things to talk about. So if you're going to be wanting to see Ryan and I, we'll be at the Rippy Mansion doing bourbon sessions on November 16th. And Brian, you've done. I've done it. A it's bourbon session. Such a cool house. So I'm going to try to get to your guys. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very cool. And then if you are in any of these cities, look forward to more Whiskey Fest. We're coming to the end of the year. So Whiskey Fest is starting to come to the end. Nobody really does anything in December, but Whiskeys of the World Chicago, November tomorrow, November 4th, Kansas City Whiskey Expo, November 4th, and Houston Whiskey Social on November 18th. And to be announced soon, um, I'll be in Jacksonville, November 18th through 22nd. Um, and Blake and I are going to do something somewhere, but when I rely on Blake, uh, you'll get about a two and a half been, hour notice. I've been asking him for once a month for the last six months. And, it's, you know, I finally call him and he's like, oh, yeah, we got to do something. Right. And so to be D TBD somewhere in Jacksonville between the 18th and 22nd. But, watch, but you'll be there. Pop up. But I'll be there somewhere. It'll be a pop up. So that's all Blake. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and then uh, another reminder is that if you want a discount on any executive bourbon steward level sign up, you can do it with a 15% discount code with BP15. And we also are going into the next year in 2024, and we need a few more ambassadors in the Texas area, but mostly in central Texas in the Waco Temple Belton sort of area. So if you are interested in doing that, send me an email, Kenny at PursuitSpirits.com. Now, last week, we also did This Week in Bourbon, and we called out a very famous person. 
And I said, oh, yeah. I hope the I hope he comments and talking about Michael Bublé's new whiskey. He commented. Not only did he comment, he had a back and forth conversation oh, with you. He was he was on fire. So hats off to Michael Bublé for being a great sport or, and everything. Or whoever Michael Bublé's social media person <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did finally see the launch video. And remember how like in the press release it was like, oh, he was just too tired, didn't want to do anything. The launch video was literally him waking up in a hotel room, it looked like in Vegas or something like that, and going, No, this is the launch video. It's him just like with an eye mask on. And that was it. So it was just it was like him just I don't know if that's his person. I, apparently we're 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 following each other on Instagram. Yeah, now. you're our best friends. Now. So it, at some point we're gonna start deeming each other, but I guess that's just kind of the thing. It's like, hey, let's just take it nice and casual. Yeah, that's your. I mean, you hang with. I mean, Bublé doesn't get any bigger than that. It, it gets a little bit bigger, but, but not through, much. For my list, it's it's towards the top. That's yeah. for sure. He he's Canadian, right? He is Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the most famous Canadian ever. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually how funny it is, since you know Bublé has the little at, or what was it called the uh, on top of the e. What do you what do you, that little oh, India uh, or something or asterisk, or it's whatever. not an asterisk. What do you call that little little comma on top of the letter? I don't know. It's French. <sighs> it's French. <laughs> and so in in this comment, it said, "If you call my name three times, I'll appear." <laughs> and I said, "Would you?" Turn your lights off, look in the mirror. And well, save well, I said, that sounds oddly familiar and similar to Beetlejuice. And he goes, I think you mean Beetlejuice, but he put an E with the oh, comma on top of it in Beetlejuice. And I was like, oh, man, he's he's on fire. He's ready. Yeah. One more announcement, too. We're, you know, getting through Halloween, coming up to Thanksgiving, then Christmas will be here in a couple months. I'm going to offer, a lot of bourbon clubs do advent calendars. And so I know that's a popular thing. And want to offer the first five groups that email or how should I do this? Well, I don't know. You, Boy. if it's coming to Ryan at, Bur- at pursuit spirits.com, you better be ready for a flood. My friend, uh, let's do, what, you, do we have, Kenny you, you can, you can send it to him and you can say like, you've got maybe until Monday at five and then you run a randomizer or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So send it. Do we have a generic email info at pursuit spirits? We do. All right. Do info at pursuit spirits.com. And, uh, if you're a bourbon group that wants a full bottle of pursuit United, I will send it to, I'll do a randomizer with five groups and we'll send out five bottles for your advent calendar. There you go. Those are fun. Awesome. So something to be able to put in there. All right. Ready to move on. Let's go. All right, man, we're 13 minutes in. We finally just like start getting to the only news article, but here we go. Kentucky's ever booming bourbon industry is making its way into the Commonwealth coal country. Brothers Wright Distilling Company is planning to open in Pike County late next year. And distillers there are aging their bourbon and rehabilitated. Rehabilitated. (laughs) I was like rehabilitated. Yes. Rehabilitated coal mines. The plans for this unorthodox Kentucky distillery includes lodging and even an underground visitor experience. Company leaders plan to construct a 12,000 square foot distillery, rickhouse, welcome center, museum, and restaurant on a 20 acre tract. Brothers Kendall and Shannon Wright purchased that farm, which is along the banks of the Tug Fork tributary on the Big Sandy River back in 2020. They initially began to restore the property for use as corporate retreat locations, but then the Wrights discovered coal mine maps on their land. The mine operated for more than 30 years in the early 20th century, and now that space is used to age the company's first bourbon barrels. The $38 million project will create 28 quality jobs in Pike County and eastern Kentucky region, and the company's owners also operate multiple other businesses throughout Kentucky and central and southern Appalachia. The parent company is Wright Concrete and Construction and employs more than 200 people across all operations. Well, that's awesome because it's, you know, that part of the state has been devastated by, you know, all different types of things, and uh, it, it's good to to see some investment going back into that area. I'd be interested to see how you can do a aging in coal mines. That's a fascinating That's, thing. Yeah, I, I love it as a concept too. But I'm wondering about the temperature. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, because it'd be it's cool. Get, it's it'd be, be like more maker's, moderate. Maker's uh, the cellar, cellar aged. aged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Because it'd be moderate, and then is are you exposed to like I don't know the black lung or anything? That's, <laughs> <laughs> no, got the no. black lung pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So that's. Interesting, but I'm, I'm excited for that region to get some investment going on, create jobs and opportunities. So it's very cool. Yeah, uh, you're right about the aging is definitely a, a very tricky situation because the the way that we know and we all traditionally know it needs to be. Or you just heat that coal up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it gets hot. They say. Just do a little like uh, like just quick little flame in there. Just kind of just let it sit there, accumulate for a little bit. But yeah, for most parts, it's, 
yeah, you want to have a, a rick house in an open, airy, windy area that's subject to rapid temperature changes. That's just typically how it is. Uh, and the real, unless they're trying to just go for, you know, middle tier center of the rick house doesn't have, and you have a 20 year old whiskey that ends up pretty well. That's about what you're going to get out of it. It's a long time for a startup to wait. It sure is. Yeah, I would say it's even cooler than a middle tier. You're looking even probably cooler than a bottom tier. Right. It's, it's uh, got to be cooler than a bottom tier, I bet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so what, what climate do you think you would equate that to if you had to choose a state? Like I don't know. Wisconsin? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Where, what stays 55 degrees all year? All year? Yeah, you're right, because Wisconsin will have some summers and they'll they'll get something, but... Isn't it where like Jay Henry is? Are they out of Wisconsin? They're in, they're in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I'd go. Yeah, and, I'd uh, go further Turtles north. Glenn. I'd go yeah. Michigan, Upper Peninsula, up up on Lake oh, Superior. Yeah. Um, that's. I mean, it stays well, stays cool. Or we're going Buble Land in Canada. Right. That's true. I mean, to be fair, we have the underground caverns here. Yet nobody, you don't see any. And by the way, the underground caverns in Kentucky and in Louisville area. It's massive. I mean, there are, there's underground theme parks, there's boat and RV storage, there's exotic, zip lines, zip zip lines, lines yep. exotic car storage. There's all, I, I think Christmas that, lights. There is Christmas lights. I believe it's also where, you know, pods, the moving company. Yeah. It's where they store all the pods is uh, in, mass. is in the caverns. So massive. Because it doesn't hit the temperature yet. Nobody's sitting there trying to age barrels in it. Yeah. Well, there might be a reason. Maybe only a select few will go in the the coal mines. <laughs> you you know, come out and you you know, you've just got like soot like all over your face. You're like, this was a really fun experience. Yep. You come out in the cart. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was as Kenny was like starting the, to the say the seven that. dwarves coming out. <laughs> you know, I was about to say it was like <laughs> you Snow take White. the little rail track down and the tiny little cart. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're just like, Wee! hope you come back up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to this rope. Yep. Well, that's going to do it all for the bourbon release news, but stick around. Or sorry to say, that was the actual bourbon news, but we got bourbon release news coming up. If you're anything like me, then you can't get enough about bourbon. And that's why I'm a subscriber to Bourbon Plus magazine. Bourbon Plus is a quarterly publication that tells the stories from the heart of bourbon. The farmers who grow the grain, the distillers who labor over the process, and the people like you and me who raise their glasses to celebrate it all. Subscribe to Bourbon Plus Magazine today at bourbonplus.com, that's P-L-U-S dot com, and use code PURSUIT at checkout for $5 off your subscription. Shopify's already taken the cash register online, helping millions sell billions around the world. But did you know that Shopify can do the same thing at your retail store? Give your point-of-sale system a serious upgrade with Shopify. Shopify's point-of-sale is your command center for your retail store. From accepting payments to managing inventory, Shopify has everything you need to sell in person. And with Shopify, you get a powerhouse selling partner that effortlessly unites your in-person and online sales into one source of truth. Track every sale across your business in one place and know exactly what's in stock. Connect with customers in line and online. Shopify helps you drive store traffic with plug and play tools built for marketing campaigns from TikTok to Instagram and beyond. And get hardware that fits your business. Take payments by smartphone. Transform your tablet into a point-of-sale system or use Shopify's point-of-sale Go Mobile device for a battle-tested solution. Plus, Shopify's award-winning 24-7 help is there to support your success every step of the way. Do retail right with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash bourbon, all lowercase, and go to shopify.com slash bourbon to take your retail business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash bourbon. All right, everybody, it's bourbon release news time, and we do have a few more things to talk about here than we did at the top of the show. It, it almost feels like we're getting towards the end of the year. The, the, yeah. Everything's settled down. Only got two more months. Yeah. I mean, you've already, had, year ever. You've already had the antique collection release. I guess Van Winkle's still going to come out. That's that's kind of like the highs and all the other stuff, and now it's kind of like, all right, now we just got to get out to the end of the year and sell what's on the shelf, apparently. Yep. So Rabbit Hole has announced the release of Season it's okay. It's season with the letter G at the end. How would you say that? Seasoning? Season on? Season G? I don't know. Season. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not season. Probably not, not season. Not season. Okay. I was like, oh, season. 
All right. Well, it's not going to work, but all right. Well, I'll say season G, I'm about to say. It's a Kentucky Straight bourbon finished in rum casks. And so season G is the latest release in the Brands Distillery series, a collection of limited edition small batch and cask strength whiskeys. Season G is also a tribute to the age-old tradition of sea-bound rum transportation. Its name echoes the work songs of sailors who once voyaged across the Caribbean, shipping rum barrels along the way. I guess we never heard that song. So uh, season <laughs> is uh, crafted from Rabbit Hole's award-winning high gold product. The delicious high ride double malt bourbon is drawn from fewer than 15 hand-toasted and charred barrels. It is finished in the very same rum casks that traveled the seas. As part of the limited edition release, only 2,176 bottles of seasoned G are available for purchase exclusively at Rabbit Hole Distillery with a limited quantity of bottles available online through Rabbit Hole's website in Kentucky, Arkansas. New Hampshire, uh, North Dakota, and D.C. in season's unique mash bill features 70% corn, 25% malted rye, and 5% malted barley. And a 375 will go for a suggested retail price of $50, and it also is 108.4 proof. Okay. Well, at least they got the 108. I know. 108 is good. It's a, we, good, we it's like a great that. number. Um, rum finishes... They can be very polarizing. You know, they're either like too rum for it or too... Not enough rummy. Not enough rum. So it's like... Uh, Where's the rum? But I definitely like bourbon and rum versus rye and, and rum. Uh, I lean more of those. I agree. But I'm, I'm excited for the G seasoning. Maybe... is it, Did you say season G is a song name? I, I don't... I don't know. Well, it said it was like an old sailor's echo. A, a man, song sailor. Wise Man Brown. A song of, of sailors. We need to research that and have it on the music for the lead-in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> row, 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 row in the bottle of rum. Uh, I just typed in, like, the season G into Google, and it's like, are you sure you didn't try to type in seasoning? <laughs> yeah. We're not going to find it. Yeah, and it's like, Danos is who you're looking for. That's right. Yum, yum. Ooh, Danos needs to make a bourbon. Uh, yeah. It's, it's Danos finished. Bourbon. The so. ranch. <laughs> ranch G. Yum, yum, get you some. Hard Truth Distilling has announced the release of Barrel Finished Reserve, which is four unique pairings of Hard Truth's finest sweet mash aged in the highest quality barrel sourced from some of the same world, oh, sorry, some of the world's most celebrated winemakers. All four new whiskeys come under Hard Truth's award-winning sweet mash rye label and will be available in extremely limited quantities. Barrel Finished Reserve, which is an annual offering, is mashed, distilled, aged, and bottled by the distillers at the Hard Truth Distillery. The barrel lineup includes Pedro Jimenez Sherry, Pedro Jimenez Brandy, Salterns, and Cognac. Each barrel housed at Hard Truth Sweets Rye's main line, which is RDW1 mash bill of 94% rye, 6% malted barley. Each expression is in 750 ml bottles and a suggested retail price of $100. I love their rye whiskey, and I love all those finishes, so I'm sure they're fantastic. Yeah. We had a chance to actually go there. Uh, yeah, to... it's a cool facility, too. Have you been there, Brian? I haven't been there yet. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's in, what, Columbus or Nashville, Indiana or something? Close to Santa Claus, Indiana. For... I don't think so. It's not that. <laughs> there is actually, there is a Santa Claus, Indiana. That's an awesome property. If you're in traveling up down 65, about halfway between here and Indianapolis, um, the way the hills. Brownsville. Or, yeah, 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 Brown County, I think is what it's called. But uh, gorgeous property, got a cool restaurant and, you know, amphitheater, and you can ride four-wheelers with cocktails and all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, maybe not driving, but well, you're somebody, riding. somebody else can be driving and you can just ride in a... Yeah. I, was it a four-wheeler or like a gator? Well, it was, was it? not a four-wheeler. It was a side-by-side or a ranger. Yeah, what know. do you call those things? You're, you've got... We call them side-by-sides. Okay. But <laughs> popular ones are like Polaris Ranger, John Deere Gator, okay. Kawasaki Mule. I can't remember which brand we rode on with Brian. He got us lost. And I was like, are we ever getting out of this? <laughs> I was like, we better... I'm never going to have to push this damn thing out of here. I'm not, yeah. I'm not dressed for this. Yeah, Kenny's not used to being in the woods. <laughs> He's <laughs> no. used to being in a cubicle. I'm like, his uh, office. I just look at... Like, just all the poison ivy, and I'm just like, get me out of here. Yeah. But anyways, I'm sure the whiskey's good. It's a cool yeah. place. Check it out. It is. It definitely Now, is. cognac can get too cognac -y. It sure can. Yeah, it can. So I'd, be, I'd be intrigued about that one in yeah. particular. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. So, this is kind of a new one. Uh, I saw a bunch of people trying to buy it online today, and you can reserve it. And so, by the time you hear this, maybe it's all gone. But Campari's Wild Turkey has released a new whiskey that combines three generations of bourbon making. The launch of Generations marks the first collaboration between the three generations of the Russell family, Jimmy, Eddie, and Bruce Russell, who together have been more than a century of whiskey-making experience. Bruce has recently been appointed to Associate Blender, while Jimmy and Eddie share the title of Master Distiller. 
Wild Turkey Generations is a blend of four hand-selected whiskeys that showcase the varied palates, personal preferences, and expertise of the three family members. The bottle features the signatures of all three Russells and has a suggested RP or at retail price of $450. Only 5,000 bottles of Wild Turkey Generations will be available at select retailers in the U.S., and expressions will also be available in Korea, Japan, and Australia later this year. It's a very cool release. I mean, to have that, that's such a cool thing for their family to have that three generations, you know, obviously, but I bet Bruce picked a raw. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said no raw. Yeah. Jimmy said no raw. And Jimmy's like seven year old at the most. That's all I want. Yeah. But, uh, Brian will trade, trade you some diamonds for some if you got. I've got one diamond left. No uh, more. Turns. Only one more. Oh, okay. there we go. Finally, finally clearing out the bunker there. I don't know. I, I look at this and, man, 450 bucks. That's a lot. But, really I mean, to be fair, it's one of a kind, unless they do it again next Okay. Time. No age statement, no proof. People just, I, I, I didn't see anything on there. So, but you just buy it. You just buy it. People just buy it. And I was just like, okay, go for it. I mean, it was in the, you know, the same bottle that their masters keep. And, you know, that's kind of like very uh, square, mm -hmm. uh, tapered shape. It looks really nice, but, Again, I, I I personally would probably have a, a tough time That's a lot of throwing money. down the money on it. But what do we know anymore? There's a lot of people that are getting into this. Well, you said there's only, what, 5,000 5, bottles. Yeah, to, it and, comes and, in a box, too, right? I'm and sure absolutely. it does. Yeah. Why would it not? And it right. sounds like it's going global, so it's not going to go very far. No, it would definitely not go very far. But, you know, this is one of those things. It's uh, it, keep pumping them out, you know, while while Jimmy can still be around to, to make it happen. I think yeah. this is probably one of the good things that let that legacy live on too. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's just always one of the things like everybody knows that you'll, you'll see Jimmy at the, the gift shop now. You go there on, I think it was like Tuesdays because his housekeeper's there and he doesn't like to be around the housekeeper. So <laughs> you want to go on to Wild Turkey on Tuesdays, you'll always see Jimmy there. But I love seeing people just buy a regular bottle of like plastic bottle of Wild Turkey 101 and have Jimmy sign it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like you couldn't splurge on the Russell's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, we'll Reserve. Get the yeah, <laughs> rare breed, something. Yeah, yeah. I, I just love seeing that. But man, he he's he's having fun with it. and I hope we can all have fun with like that. So like yeah, that great guy. Later on in life too, legend. So Proof and Wood Ventures has launched the Cabinet. It's a limited edition whiskey that showcases the best of their rise in bourbons. The Cabinet is a part of the award-winning DC collection. The first edition of the Cabinet was released in 2022 exclusively in the Washington, DC area. These are the people that also brought you uh, the Senator and uh, if you remember those types of releases. The 2023 edition is slated for a nationwide release, but still with a limited run of only around 606 bottle cases. The blend is a mingling of whiskeys aged between five and nine years old. And here's what's actually in them. So you have a 2014 rye. It's, these are, sorry, 2014, 2015, 2016, and 2017 ryes, and they're all 95.5. There is a 2016 bourbon. That's a 99.1, 99% corn, 1% barley. And a 2017 bourbon of 75.21.4. All distilled in Indiana, entered into new charred oak at 120 proof, aged, blended, and bottled in Kentucky. The cabinet has a suggested retail price of $125 per bottle and will soon be found in the shelves in over 30 states around the country. I've been seeing a lot of that 99 corn, 1% popping up. MGP must be, or I guess Ross and Squibb is unloading. Unloading. Getting rid those. of it. But uh, I've been seeing those pop up more, which I actually tried. I thought it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, for being that's, but I'm, I'm a sweet tooth. So that high corn is going to be really sweet. And then probably the rye to balance it out. Yeah. It's a lot of corn in that bourbon. I haven't had none, none yet. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, okay. No. Maybe after this. After Maybe this. after we'll, this. We'll look at the table and see we'll what's look on over the tables. I'm sure there's the one over there. Earlier. <laughs> there's a lot of distilled in Indiana over there. Yeah. There's, uh, so in, in our studio, we have all the stuff that gets shipped to us. And so the table, I think it's starting to bow in the middle. But this is, uh, you know, Brian comes by and he starts looking through and it was almost like trick-or-treating for him. He's just yeah. like, I'm just going to check it out. He's like, ooh, I got full candy bars here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my pillowcase? <laughs> All right, so here's our last news article, and that's that Buffalo Trace has announced the release of Eagle Rare 25. At 25 years old, Eagle Rare 25 marks the oldest expression released from the Eagle Rare portfolio. And Eagle Rare 25 is the first release from Warehouse P, 
one of Buffalo Trace Distillery's two experimental warehouses. A purpose-built, state-of-the-art warehouse, Warehouse P, was constructed to test if it was possible to extend favorably both the aging and maturation process, typically for American whiskey and bourbon. While time in the barrel contributes to continue the aging of ultra-aged bourbon, it is the maturity, or sorry, it is the marriage of age and maturity and how factors including oak type, barrel chart, temperature, humidity, and barrel placement alter the whiskey over time, which creates a truly outstanding taste experience. Eagle Rare 25 was bottled upon reaching its silver anniversary in the barrel, symbolizing the custom sterling silver weaned hand hammer to encase each hand-blown crystal decanter perfectly. Opening the custom display box reveals an eagle's outstretched wings, framing the 101-proof bourbon, which also contains an elegant glass eagle inside the bottle. Approximately only 200 750 ml bottles of Eagle Rare 25 will be released to select retailers, bars, and restaurants globally beginning in November 2023 with a suggested retail price of $10,000 per bottle. Okay. Ouch. There's the new. Is that the. Is that Brian, the. New bar? Is that the Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, is that the new bar? Is 10000 What What else? Is, is anything else SRP been over 10000 I don't know. The last celebration drops. Celebration was five, right? Yeah. The celebrate, so, or the, the last drops weren't even that high. So this, this is probably, I mean, Pappy 20, or sorry, Old Rip 25, when that came out, that was five? Yeah, that was yeah. 3500 or five, maybe. Yeah. Uh, 10000 is a lot. I mean, they that's a, it's an expensive I've, piss. I've heard there's a uh, coal mine they could have aged it in instead of <laughs> yeah, warehouse instead of beer. Warehouse. <laughs> is that the, that was what I was going to ask, is that where they have the refrigeration? That's the refrigeration. It's like where all they, the last drop room or something. Yeah, and they, they give you a coat when you go tour it. Yeah. Go in it. I went in with Freddie one time we did an Eagle Rare pick. It was, it was, you did see like 20, 30 year old whiskeys in there. Yeah. That pretty cool. So I guess it helps slow down where, because we've had. You know, 25, 27, 30 year old bourbons are just terrible. Like, they're terrible. Absolutely terrible. Just because they just get so bitter and tannic. They smell great, but taste like mm -hmm. a glass yeah. of water by you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I mean, and it's, you can either try to stop aging. If you're, if you're heat cycling, you put it into a warehouse where you don't have it. But once it gets to a point, you got to put it in the fridge. And that's, yeah. what, they're, that's what they're doing. Yeah. It's kind of slow it's a down. Walk in, really expensive uh, walk in fridge with, uh, I think they said like we got like ten million dollars worth of inventory in here, and it's not that big of a space. I mean, there may be maybe a hundred barrels in there, maybe it's pretty small. Yeah, yeah. well, ten thousand dollars a barrel. That's true, a <laughs> bottle, <laughs> a bottle. It adds up. Yeah, yeah. Well, honest, I think it's a really cool like, experiment into aging. I think it's definitely one of those things that we have to test the boundaries of and stuff like that. I think that most of us can look at it and go, you know what? It's out of our price range, but <laughs> it's way out of my pressure. If we get a chance to try it, that'd be cool. But for the most part, by two digits, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. not over on the table over there. Yeah, I, might, but, I might have missed that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they did not send us the same. Even at $100 a pour, I'd be like, I don't know about this one. Yeah. $100. Yeah. That's, but I'm sure it's good. That, that last drop, I remember it was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we, that was in the, that was in the 1980. If I yeah. remember correctly. So that was like a dusty yeah. George T. Stag. Yeah, it was good. Which you don't get that very often. But that's it, guys. That's this, it. This is kind of a short right. one this week. All right. Brian, it's a good one. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you guys having me. Yeah. We'll so, see you next uh, week. Well, before we do it, Brian, give a sign off real quick. Like you always do. Where can people find you? Find me at uh, Sipping Corn on all the socials, Bourbon Justice, all those sorts of things. Very awesome. So thank you again for being here for this. And I hope you like the show. Share it with a friend. Uh, don't leave a review. Tell a friend about it. Make sure they go and listen to it, share it with them, because that's the best way to make them happen. And then uh, they can also get jealous about never trying Eagle Rare 25 either. Yeah. And if, if you want to leave a nice review, you can leave that. <laughs> you can do that too. But not a bad one. We're insecure. <laughs> yeah. Say, I like really, I really like Ryan's whiskey he's putting out. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, everybody, cheers, and we'll see you. Actually, we won't see you next oh, week. Oh, yeah, Kenny's on. I'm going to be out of town, so you're going to get another episode of Behind the Pursuit next Friday, but we'll be back yeah, a week Unfortunately, after that. I don't know how to operate all this stuff and upload it and get it going, so we'll have to take a week off. Yes, yeah, so we'll, you'll have uh, a lot more news to talk about in two weeks. But cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Toodles. Toodles.